Welcome, everyone. Thanks for being with us today. Today, I have Jeff Cernicki, Leadership and Life Coach, with me. Jeff, welcome. Hey, um, good morning, Tim. It's, it's great to be here with you, and I, I look forward to, uh, to our chat. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Hey, if you would, please just start out with a little bit about you, your background, how you came to um, be a leadership and life coach. Well, it started with, uh, it started with my interest in, in, in leadership at a young age, uh, playing baseball. Um, I was raised by a naval av aviator. I suppose we should start there. Okay. Um, so leadership in my life has always been something that has been very um, uh, upfront. Um, and straightforward um, in the way that you should handle yourself and the way that you should deal with others. Uh, Army vet, um, learned a lot about leadership um, in, in that role. And then I uh, came out of the Army and uh, while I'm going to college, I'm trying to find some way to pay the bills, Tim. So I start working at UPS uh, down here in the West Bottoms in, in Kansas City. And uh, Next thing you know, 31 years later, I'm, I'm, I'm a retired uh, operations uh, executive with, uh, uh, with 31 years under my belt at UPS and decided that here was my opportunity to go pursue something that I truly value, which was being able to help others find their path to leadership, leadership purpose, as I like to call it. And uh, that's where it began. I, I began to research what it would take to become a certified coach. And I did um, through my training with IPEC and uh, have since uh, gone on to get uh, my uh, certifications uh, through the International Coaches Foundation. I'm a, a registered uh, certified ACC level coach with the uh, global organization. And, um, you know, I'm a lifelong Kansas City, uh, well, lifelong. I moved here when I was 12, when my father retired. I'm here to work anyway. And so I've uh, been a Kansas City in most of my life. And, and you know, we, we, we truly enjoy uh, life here in Kansas City. And I enjoy bringing the value of coaching to those who are looking, you know, to make that shift. So, and, and Jeff, if I, if I understand it correctly, you do individual coaching, corporate coaching, training. Uh, I believe you've, you're an author as well. Could you just talk a little bit about the services you do provide? Certainly. Um, my primary offering is is one-on-one -on -one coaching. I work with um, my niche, is, to be specific, is with young professionals. Mm -hmm. um, I work with those who are working their way, um, you know, swimming up the stream of corporate America, so to speak. But I also work with entrepreneurs. Um, I work with those who have started their own business and are looking to develop, you know, a greater scope, you know, uh, of their business and thus, you know, having to train and bring on board, you know, uh, those who are going to be the next level of leadership, uh, leaders within that scope as, as well. I also do um, team dynamic coaching within organizations because in today's corporate um, environment, team dynamic is critical. And being able to have everyone on the same page moving in the same direction, I, I uh, equate it to that of a team. You know, if you look at, you know, uh, nine players out on a baseball field, everybody knows their responsibility. Um, and I also know that I hit cleanup for a reason, and I might bat ninth for a reason, but I still bring value to the team. And so uh, I've really enjoyed that aspect of my coaching as well. That and I write blogs. I've got a newsletter. Um, I have uh, written uh, one book and I'm in the process of finishing up number two. Um, just basically some writings on, on leadership, great leadership, and offering to uh, my readers, you know, the opportunity to see the scope of, of where they can envision themselves as leaders. Yeah, and fantastic. I just that work also in life. Yeah, yeah, very good. I, I know I'm on your email list, and so I see your musings on leadership and on life and, and those sort of issues, and I appreciate that. Say, so I'm curious as to what you have found in the folks that you're working with, the folks that you're coaching at this point. What are those pain points for them right now? What have they been struggling with since they've been forced into a, a brand new lifestyle because of COVID-19? Well, you know, for the most part, Tim, it, it, people, it's rote. Um, uh, of, of behaviors. You know, I'm, I'm used to this type of approach to everything that I do. 
um, and that's what we call normal. When that gets interrupted and interrupted in such fashion as it's been interrupted here over the last, you know, six weeks, um, that really um, sends people into a tailspin uh, because now they no longer see their connection to work. Um, it's hard to now find a way to connect um, even at home um, because, you know, here was the part I played previously. Now I'm being faced with all these new challenges that say this is the way I need to perform and possibly conform to this new normal. And people are really struggling with that. Um, you know, as a coach, you know, what I try to do um, with clients in this situation is ask them to picture themselves in what I term an ideal image. In, in other words, you know, look at all of the, I, I ask them to list all the qualities that they can describe that would be you, their idea of what um, an ideal family would look like, what ideal relationships would look like, what their ideal um, position with their job and work looks like right now. And, and, you know, we get into specifics. We talk about attitudes. We talk about beliefs, um, behaviors, um, all of those characteristics that, that really present us as who we are. And then we go through a simple scaling, one to 10, let's rank them, uh, you know, see where they all fall and your current status of where you're at, you know, right now. And then we basically look as to what we improve. One of my recent, uh, one of my recent newsletters um, uh, touched on exactly that, considering the circumstances that you're in right now and the fact that you have no control whatsoever over those circumstances. What could you do to improve your current status within that circumstance? In other words, where are the opportunities for you? Because truly, Tim, as we focus on those more so than what's challenging me now, we can begin to evolve and we can begin to seek you know, new personal growth. And that's what builds leadership, really. Yeah, I, I, so, I really, you know, really that's, that's the main points that I bring. Yeah, that's terrific. And I really appreciate that because, you know, I've done about 25 or so of these Zoom chats with folks now, seeing how COVID-19 has impacted them, their clients, et cetera. And I've, I've discovered a common thread is that there really are kind of surprise opportunities for all of us for growth. Um, I, I know that personally, I had never, I'd rarely done a Zoom video chat before. Now I spend, I'm doing one of these, you know, a couple of these, a few of these a day. Yeah. You know, and that's been good for me. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, it's, it's been, that's one of the pleasant, one of the positive sides, I think, of what we've been forced into. But, Jeff, any other takeaways, um, any other uh, recommendations for folks who are struggling with staying at home? Maybe simple steps they can take in terms of routine or staying healthy, staying focused, staying calm during this time. You know, the first, the, the first um, thing that I would offer, and this is new to many and, and strange to many, but that's the basic um, process of, of meditation. And, and, and I call it centering more in the sense that with my clients, be it that for the most part, time is of the essence. Um, when you take the time to center yourself, and this can be done in 10, 15, 20 minutes, um, to really just put yourself in an environment where you are relaxed, um, where you're not distracted by anything, and really just concentrate on your breathing and get back to focus. Because what occurs more often than not in times like these, the distractions are many. And so is the angst and the anxiety, it's heightened. And in that case, we find ourselves like, not unlike the border collie effect you know, of, you know, my focus is here and just like that, there's a squirrel. And just like that, there's a rabbit. And all of a sudden we're finding ourselves going, I can't get a hold of anything. Yeah, you bet. So that opportunity to center yourself on a regular basis, uh, personally, 
twice a day. I do it when I first get up in the morning. Um, and then I do it again um, later on in the day, usually because I've acquired so much noise <laughs> mm -hmm. throughout the course of that day that it's important to, you know, just bring it all back centered. That's why we call it centering. But anyone can access some wonderful centering techniques just on YouTube um, alone. There are some great teachers out there. And, you know, again, it's something that initially takes some time to really get that focus because we as humans, you know, our mind wants to run in a million different directions because it, it, it wants to stay in touch with everything. Sure, you bet. And, and it wants to do it all at once. So, you know, that opportunity to just bring ourselves back into focus allows us to cleanse and, and really get that focus back in place. And then we can begin to say, okay, look, this is where I wanted to go today. This is where I wanted to be right now in this moment. All right, so now I'm refocused and let's get back on track and start heading in that direction. And that really brings the calmness. You know, that anxiety, that angst that I was speaking to earlier, that kind of like dissipates and moves away. And it's important that we do that on a regular basis and, and just Fantastic. help ourselves stay centered, stay focused, and not get too twisted about everything that's going on around us that we have no control over. Yeah, so fantastic. much in our lives we have not. Yeah, so, fantastic. Great advice. I really appreciate that. And, and hey, Jeff, thank you so much for taking some time to share your thoughts and your advice with folks today. Oh, absolutely. And thank you for the opportunity, Tim. This is a time right now where many of us are looking for you know, an answer. And, and I don't know so much that that answer is that one line answer is there for us. More so what we find by taking the time to really be a little introspective and, and look within ourselves is that answer for us yeah. in this moment. And that's really what's going to be most impactful for, for everyone in, in times like these. Absolutely. Fantastic. Jeff, thanks again. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Tim, and have a great day. Thanks, you too.